What is up you guys? It's Nat. Welcome to my video. I am so excited because today I am making my dogs in The Sims 4 for the first time. Oh my goodness. Like, ah, I don't know. I'm just so excited. I feel like I've never done this before or if I have, it was like once and I was like 12 and it was like Sims 2. So <laughs> I'm like really, really excited to do this for you guys. It is a tag that, or not, is it a tag or a challenge? I don't know, but a lot of people have been doing it. I know I got tagged for a different challenge that's relatively similar to this, but not this, but <laughs> anyways, guys, I'm going to make my dogs and the Sims. The only pets that I technically have right now are my two dogs, Charlie and Wilfred. I've had other dogs in the past, but unfortunately they have passed away, including my first dog, Cleo, who was a black lab who passed away this year. So I miss her a lot, but I'm going to make her in a different video. So that should be fun and also simultaneously depressing. But anyways, let's just have fun right now. I was originally just going to do this as a speed create a pet, I guess, but I thought Thought, why not react to the pets with you guys live because that sounds like more fun so I figure since Charlie is the old man and he was technically here first we'll make him Charlie and we call him Charlie Brown and he is a yellow lab so <laughs> I'm like I'm like way too excited for this right now let's go Labrador retriever yellow oh <laughs> this definitely doesn't look like him but it is very cute oh hi you're gonna be my Charlie okay so he's not very fit because he is an old man oh ah ooh how do I make him old can I make him old I can right person oh here we go oh he looks so gray and decrepit. All right, guys, we're back. So I kind of realized I can now hear the game so I can pick out his bark, but you guys can't hear it. So it makes no sense for me to sit here talking about his bark and wasting time to pick it out when you guys can't hear it. So I'm just gonna give him a bark and we're gonna roll with it. So let's see, he is, what's this? Oh, he is friendly. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, he is definitely not a glutton. He's actually very picky. Um, he's not vocal anymore, but he used to be. Also used to be very jumpy. Um, Harry, these dogs, oh yeah, he sheds always, constantly. It is always shedding season. And he's kind of a couch potato now because he's just old and he can't be very active and he can't go around and do, you know, a whole lot of stuff. So yeah, we'll make him a couch potato. It's not really by choice. It's <laughs> by matter of fact that he has arthritis now. Um, but anyways, so let's jump into this. Ooh, and see, this is a little too much white for me. I don't know if I can change that, but it's a little too white for me. Uh, let's change his eyes. His eyes are brown and his nose is pink. Ooh, but not that pink. That looks weird. Um, no, oh, none of these look right. Let's just leave it like that. And then I'll use the paint tool because it's like not entirely pink, but like it's, it's just not, it's just not. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yes, maybe. Ooh. He does have very, very big droopy ears. He always has. And when you, we, I've had him since he was a puppy, right? He used to trip over his ears because they were so big. And he eventually grew into them. Um, His tail is not that skinny. I don't know any labs that have a tail that's skinny. Like, lab tails are pretty thick. Pretty thick. So, you know, that's good. Oh, I feel bad that he's an elder because he actually looks like this. He always just looks like he's, you know, tired and needs to take a seat. So this is kind of making me sad now. Oh my goodness. Um, all right. Well, let's jump into paint mode, I guess. Because the body shape honestly looks about right. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I need your face. Like, need your face. How do I get into detail? Like, the extreme detail mode? I can't remember. Well, <laughs> okay. Charlie... <laughs> this is gonna sound really mean, but my mom used to always call him mascara boy because he has these like really really dark lines right under his eyes there by the way um, It's obviously there but I haven't brought it up, but there will be a picture on screen um, For my pets so you can see what I'm talking about and see what they actually look like in real life But he always has had these like really dark lines under his eyes and it does look like he's wearing eyeliner and it's like so fashionable <laughs> He is so like Instagram worthy, just saying, but um, how can I replicate this? Okay, come on. Oh, detail, here we go. Yeah, yes, yes. Ooh, a little bit darker maybe? Oh, honey, yes, mm-hmm. This is like emo, uh, let's see. Ooh, why are these so pink? 
I don't need so pink. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Ooh. Yeah, okay. But like, ooh. It just, it looks almost too much for me. It kind of? Oh god. Hang on, now I gotta look at a picture of him, because I had a picture of him up. And I stopped looking at because I was like, I know what my dogs look like. And to be honest, I don't. Okay, and like all these pictures, his nose looks really dark. And now it's freaking me out because I'm like, oh, my dog has a pink nose. And that's like, in reality, it's like, ah, oh, no, he doesn't add. Oh my God, his eyes right now. Oh God, that's so scary. Because his nose is like a little bit of pink. You know what I mean? Like, oh God, what am I doing? Yeah, kind of. Mm, oh my God, everybody's going to be like watching this and then looking at his picture and being like, Nat, this looks nothing like him. What are you doing? And I'm gonna be like, guys, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that doesn't look pink, but it looks good enough. I am so fine with that. And then he has like a dark muzzle that leads down to his lips. So let's move down. And can we do that? Or is it being a pain in my butt? I'm like so scared to mess up. Oh no, he looks like a Hitler dog. Mm, that's not what he looks like. Oh God, okay. <laughs> oh my God, he looks like no, I can't do that. Oh my god, he didn't look right. Um. Oh, goodness. Why is this so hard? Okay, yeah. It's looking better. It's starting to look better, honestly. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm lying to myself right now. Oh, e uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Whoever knew making my yellow lab in The Sims 4 would be so hard. Why does it look like he just stuffed his face into a chocolate cake? This is bothering me on so many levels and I don't know how to fix it. This might be better. Now that the opacity is down. <gasps> no! I think it's because of all the white, to be honest. You know, it's just too much white. It's too much, too much white. So let's go in here and brighten something. Oops, oopsie. I didn't do that. You know what? Oh God, I don't want to not make him an elder though, but at the same time, cause like he is an old dog, but just, ugh, this bothers me. This doesn't look bad actually. Why does this, did I change something? I'm so lost. I feel like I fixed it. No, I definitely, I definitely didn't, but I don't know what I did and I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> oh, this video is such a mess. Okay, mm lots of editing goes into this kids. <laughs> Dobian at. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Charlie. You don't have a ton of white on your ears. Actually, his ears are a wee bit darker than the rest of his body. I'm probably just actually like totally crazy and just like making my dog look nothing like him at all. I am. <laughs> Why? Why does this look. Did you guys see that? You guys saw that, right? Wait. Is it because they're, oh my God, they're adding the white detailing because he's an elder after I've painted him. That's why this is lightening up. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe I didn't realize that. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm totally fine. I am, I am perfect right now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's check his pads. That sounded really gross, but it was not meant to be. Okay, his pads are, I think that they're brown or like a dark color. I don't think that they're pink. And if they are, then they're just like a teeny tiny bit pink. But I think we're fine. Um, I want to go into paint mode because he has a very, very white tummy. So let's do that. Oh my God. I like, I almost don't want him to be an elder right now. Because one, first off, it's making me sad. And two, it just, I feel like the picture that I'll have of him he is old in it, but he does not look like that. He does not look that ancient. So I think for the sake of his coloring, I'm just gonna make him a adult dog. Okay guys, so I kind of think I fixed up Charlie. It took me a little while, but um, I added some white around his paws because his paws kind of get a little bit lighter. I looked at some pictures and realized, okay, maybe he isn't as yellow as I thought, but I think the fur kind of changes based on lighting. So I lightened up his face a little bit. Oh God, I'm still in the paint mode and lightened up around his muzzle just a teeny tiny bit. I still think this looks really, really weird. But like, if you look at the picture, like his muzzle is really, really dark. So we're just gonna roll with it. 
We've got his traits, and I'm not gonna put a collar on him just because like he, okay, he's wearing a collar right now, so maybe I should. <laughs> but we've never been super strict with him wearing one, especially in his old age, because he's not going anywhere. So I think we're just gonna roll with it, but we're gonna move on to Wilfred now, who is an Irish wolfhound, and I don't know if I should make him a puppy or not, because he is currently a puppy. He is turning five months next week. The problem that I know the Sims will not be able to adapt to is just how quickly they grow, so I have a feeling. Let's just name him first. Let's say Wilfred, and um, <laughs> he doesn't have an official middle name, um, but I have a fun one, so I'm gonna call him Wilfred Wharfstash, Markiplier reference. And he is, like I said, an Irish wolfhound. Oh, it's already starting to look like him a little bit. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> um, but if I change him to a puppy... Oh, yeah. See, he's not that tiny. There's no way. So let's, um... Yeah. Let's just work with this. So let's see. So he is definitely very, very friendly. He's very... Ooh, he's very... Oh, no, he's not jumpy in that sense. He's jumpy in the sense of, like, he likes to jump. Well, actually, no, he doesn't like to jump because he doesn't know how to jump, but he's very uh, hands-on playful, so let's say playful. And smart, because wolfhounds are known to be very smart, and this dog is, like, super intelligent, like, so smart. Doesn't go to the bathroom in the house anymore, learned that very quickly. He knows how to give both paws, knows how to sit and lie down. Next on the list is how to play dead, but we're gonna work on that. So let's see. So we gotta, we gotta fix this, because he does not look like this at all, actually. Um, ears are much floppier. He does tuck them back a bit, but these look just so tiny, and his ears do not look like this at all. Yeah, that's what his ears look like, actually. Um, his eyes, that's pretty close. Um, he has an all-black nose. Good, good. He does have some pink around his eyes, and I think at first the vets were a little bit nervous about that because they were like, ah, uh, what's going on there? But then nothing really came of it. So I think my dog isn't dying, but who knows? Yeah, because honestly, it, it does kind of look like that. It's a little bit weird. Maybe lighten it up a little bit, like maybe throw in some gray. All right, so I feel like he has the reverse color palette of this dog. This dog seems to be like mostly like dark and then light tones. Wilfred is mostly light with dark tones. So he does have some gray on the face, but it's a darker gray. Yeah, okay, kind of. And then his muzzle, like, here is definitely, like, a lot paler. And then he does have very dark ears. Like, compared to his face, like, his ears are, like, really dark. So let's work on that. Ooh, honey, gotta fix that. Mm -mm. His ears look like they have lips, and that's kind of creepy. Let's not. Ooh, honey. Okay, gotta get the full 360, I guess. Yeah, I would say that's, like, right. So the thing about Wilfred is that he has a very gray face, but then the rest of his body is, like, tan. It's weird. I'm not joking. It's really, really weird. So, um, mm, let's go. Let's do this. I just need to get the right color. This is probably the closest I can get right now, so let's roll with this. Yeah, so Wolfred has a really weird color palette. I mean, other wolfhounds might look like this, but, like, clearly, like, this one in The Sims is just, like, all gray. Wolfred is, like, a very, very light tan but then he has like really dark gray features. It's like, it's bizarre. He's adorable, but it's bizarre. Oh, that, that kind of looks accurate though because he has like these weird black zigzags that go down his back. I'm not joking. It's really weird. I wanna make sure his head's the right color because it like turns from gray to tan slowly. And he has these like loose like baby hairs on his head. Also very weird. So, um, it's really fun to mess up his hair and like you can like put it into a mohawk and stuff. It's like really cute. I feel like this is just starting to look really absurd. Like, no, my dog does not just have like streaks on his head. I just really suck at detailing, I guess. I should have just hired someone to do this video for me. Just be like, hey, so can you like make my dogs and sims because I'm bad at it? Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna like take this video and like not pay you for your time and I'm gonna call it mine and pretend that I was just like really, really good at this. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, mm-hmm, good. Okay, let's bring him up. Ooh, there we go. His body shape doesn't look great either because he's still a puppy, so he's very lean. But let's get in here because he does have some gray detailing here. 
but it does start to turn tan and it's like it's a really weird transition so it's gonna look really weird in the sims but i promise you this is what it looks like he's got like almost like a gray outline and then there's a very special feature about wilfred that i love and it's probably the reason why my parents even adopted him at all <laughs> is he has a white heart on his chest and it looks like it, it looks just like a big heart like a big heart so let's make his heart it's like it's very pale it's very white why am i like not getting white for once i want pure white and i'm not getting white and i'm very offended Ooh, yeah okay yeah that kind of looks like it it's not as white as i want it to be but you know uh doo -doo -doo -doo. boink so yeah mm, i don't know why for some reason it's not giving me pure white even though i like definitely want pure white for once and like before it definitely wasn't when I, or it was giving me pure white when I didn't want it. So now that I want it, it's just like, uh, no, Nat, you don't get pure white. So, um, thanks a lot. So I feel like he's not quite this pale all over his body. So let's try to work on that a little bit. Let's like add in just a little bit of like detailing, but like try to make it like not look horrible. Like maybe, maybe make it look like I know I'm doing just maybe. That might be a good idea. I don't really know. I don't have experience in like making good YouTube content. I don't know about you guys. Oh, why did someone favorite my house? I, I build bad houses. What are you doing? Uh, oh no, I didn't want that. Okay. That was scary. And this kind of looks like he's rolled around some poop, but at the same time, it's Wilfred. So it wouldn't be very shocking to me if he did, but for the sake of trying to make him look like Wilfred, maybe it shouldn't look like he rolled around diarrhea. So <laughs> let's um just try to like, I don't know. I wish you had like a mixer brush in here so you could like mix things in. I'm so shook. I thought this would be so easy. I'm offended. Uh, da, 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 da. Go back down. Don't sit, Wilfred. That'd be like my first time saying that. Like, don't actually sit, Wilfred. He'd look at me like, what? What are you talking about? You're like yelling at me to sit all the time. All right, his paws. This looks nothing like him. This is so bad. This doesn't look like him. This looks like such a bad paint job of a dog and I hate it and I'm gonna crawl into a corner and cry because for some reason I just like don't know how to do this. And I've been wanting to make this video for like ever since Cats and Dogs came out and I'm just so bad at it. What? is this <sighs> I'm so mad remember when I made Umbreon and Espeon in create a pet not too long ago and they actually came out pretty okay why is it that I can make fictional pocket monsters but for some reason can't make my own pets that I look at every day okay he has like little eyebrows so let's <laughs> That looks so dumb. Oh, I love it though. But, eh. oh no, <laughs> he looks so mad. No, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, like, eh. I don't know, cause they're like fuzzy eyebrows, but I can't make those here. Oh no, that, no. Mm-mm, okay. Like, yeah, like just, yeah, kind of, okay. I'm still really upset about this body though, so um, <laughs> that's what I say every morning when I wake up. <laughs> oh my god, I walked into that and that was fantastic and I don't regret it. I don't know why I just cannot get his body right and it's like really bothering me. But that almost looks like rosy kind of in a way and I don't like it. Mm, dang it. He's not the latest iPhone, not rose gold, not my dog. Nope, I don't know about your dog, but not my dog. Oh god, I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter because this is a virtual dog and he's not real, and my real life dog is cute as Hayek. Uh, that's what I want. No, <gasps> that's not what I wanted. I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know what I just did. I don't even know what I just did. I don't know what I pressed, but thank God Command Z exists. Mm. Thank goodness. Okay. 
see I feel like sometimes I do these recordings I'm like I sound so funny and then I go and I listen to the playback I'm like oh I sound so nasally and like a noob and like I just shouldn't exist ah, self-esteem let's go ahead oh my goodness I can't I can totally see Wilfred wearing one of these just saying I was about to say, especially if it was like red plaid and boom, there it is. I can so see him wearing that, but let's not. <laughs> let's not torture my uh, virtual dog. So I think the closest that we'll get is something like this. Um, he's actually wearing Charlie's original like puppy collars. Um, just because like wolfhounds grow at such a fast rate that we were literally told do not buy him collars if you don't have to because he will just grow out of them and you'll just waste a ton of money. So we actually had the collars from when Charlie was a puppy anyway, so we just kind of went with that. So it's this weird, like, you might see it in the picture, you might not, but it's this kind of almost, not like tribal, but like it's a pattern. It's got like, it's mainly red and it's got like, I think green, blue, and yellow in it. Um, and then he does have a little silver tag that says Wilfred on it, but I think this is the closest they were going to get. So let's just roll with that. Um, but anyways, guys, I think it's time to go because this video is a total mess. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video. Um, I hope you like the versions of my pets. I think I did a terrible job. If you think that you can make my pets better than I did, um, definitely feel free to. I'd love to see them. You can show them to me on my Twitter. Um, speaking of which, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.